Good morning and welcome to PowerPoints on Finance. I want you to uh, understand that as God is transforming you, He's going to, that when, when finance and blessings come upon you, the favor of God and the favor of man, as they start to prosper, uh, your thoughts, your plans, and your desires will change according to God's will. So I want you to know that, that some of the hallmarks of, of a giver, some of the hallmarks of the giver is that they have a very clear objective. That's why when we started these PowerPoints, I asked you to do Habakkuk 2, to make a vision, write it down, make it plain, and, and make it very specific. You need to have written goals and you need to have timelines that you've set for yourself to be able to obtain these goals and be able to pray, to be able to decree and proclaim into those and have an accountability partner to say, I have very clear goals and clear objectives. I, I have a clear vision and I have a clear plan to know how to get there. You know, you can't just say, Lord bless me, I, I want to increase in finance because it's your will. If the Lord is telling you to, to get a, a more education, uh, to be able to get a different job, to be able to, uh, uh, whatever, whatever He's asking you to do, to learn a new language, whatever, whatever that is, you have to understand that the Lord is going to ask you practical things as well as spiritual things. Uh, so we need strong vision and strong objectives. The other thing that we need to understand, the key to a hallmark of, uh, uh, of, a, of a new, what I would call a, someone that's walking in new wealth with the Lord is understanding that the ownership of your talents, your skills, and your ability, and that everything the Lord's giving in your finances belongs to God. And that's the, uh, what we call is a clear understanding of accepting the principles of first fruits. So one of the things I want to encourage you to do is that every check you get, the first thing you do when you get a check is you look at it and you say, I have this check, 10%, I'm going to write a check to God. I'm going to take another 10% and put it in a savings account for myself for a rainy day. And then I'm going to take that 80% and take care of my bills and everything. But Make sure that you write the first check to God because that's one of the keys to taking yourself serious and say, can I trust myself? And, and, and you may say, oh, that's an easy thing. But when you get that check in and you, especially like uh, you get a large inheritance check and all of a sudden you're having to write that tithe check off it immediately. It's almost, it's like, man, my inheritance is shrinking. That's what your soul will say. And you say, no, what I've done is I've just sanctified this inheritance that has come to me. So the clear is to have clear objectives, clear vision, clear strategies, and understanding that it all belongs to God. Let's pray. Father, we come to you now in the name of Yeshua. Lord, we declare that we will have revelation. Lord, increase the revelation in us of first fruits. That Lord, create in us the revelation of the firstborn and the tithe. That Lord, as we focus on these financial uh, PowerPoints, these PowerPoints on finance, that Lord, that your anointing would transform us into financial revival. And we thank you for it. That the joy of the Lord will be our strength be at peace in Yeshua's name. Amen.